Hi everyone, it's Gaming Wife here, and today we are working on our reptile house, and I probably ended up making this thing way too big, but I'm a bit of a fan reptile fanatic, and that's always my favorite place to go anytime I go to any sort of zoo. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be my main focus for the next few episodes. Also, I really wanted to work on doing some large, good size indoor enclosures and messing with buildings a bit more. Normally when I just play by myself, I kind of avoid that, but I'm trying to challenge myself a bit more. And this is uh, going to be the product of that. So I hope you all enjoy watching me fight with some pathing because, oh goodness, are we going to fight with pathing? <laughs> That's one of the most reliable things of this game is that we are definitely going to be fighting that pathing. Um, so yeah, let's sit back and enjoy watching my frustrations for a bit. And one thing I would like to point out that I ended up regretting later as I was finishing this entire reptile house building is um, parts that I really made my path in claustrophobic. So I think if I ever redo, th redo this on another stream or, you know, even just for my own, my own fun, I'll probably end up doing wider paths for it. Uh, Cause this ended up just being kind of a pain to have to go back in and, um, you know, find what's causing my people to glitch and walk in a circle over and over again, or where are my employees, what are they doing? And, you know, just, just little game playing edits like that. I'm trying to figure out a decent size. Now, since we're going for a city style zoo, I've turned off the welfare, so most of my enclosures I'm doing based on sizes that you may see at an actual zoo versus what the game recommends for an enclosure size. Um, so, yeah, some of my enclosures that I'll have in later videos may look a little small or, goodness, even a little huge. <laughs> It just really depends, honestly. And around here is where I really started having trouble with the pathing. Um, I'm sure it's probably because I said flatten terrain on one thing and then didn't when I started again or the other way around. I'm not sure exactly, <laughs> but oh my goodness, it was being such a pain for me. And I spent ages trying to figure it out, as you can see. Uh, eventually I give up and just leave 
that space over there blank and put a fountain, which you'll be seeing by the end of the video, because I just could not get it to work no matter what I was doing. I'm trying to even not to rain. Uh, eventually I get, you know, the, the larger size going, which, which is fine because that's where I want to put more stuff anyways, but it kind of kills my idea for a viewing area on both sides of this enclosure. Um, so I end up just putting blank walls over it because I couldn't figure out what else to do <laughs> to fix that. Uh, but that's fine. It, once again, it makes that area look a little claustrophobic. Um, but that's not just that area that I feel that way about, so I would have made a claustrophobic place anyways with or without having causing that much trouble. And I think the fountain that we end up putting there at the end is kind of cute. And you can put a little, some vending machines over there too. Yeah, as you can see, I was trying very, very hard to get some sort of eating area started, and I was getting so frustrated while streaming this. <laughs> It was just killing me. But when the game's not working, you can't figure out what else to do. Just put a bunch of plants in a water feature there. That fixes everything. 